Today, let's start out by considering two methods of making a dress. And one method of making a dress is to cut out the dress, baste it up, and then try it on. And if it should fit too tight, as this one, there isn't much you can do because the material is already cut. The thing we want to do is alter the pattern before we cut the dress out, so that when you put it on, it will fit you, as this one does. Now today I want to show you how to make these alterations. And now we'll take the pattern out of the envelope. Unfold it just about this much so that we can iron out these large creases. We'll press this pattern with a medium warm iron. If the iron gets too hot, your pattern will curl. Of course, you don't want to press this side crease in any deeper than it already is. Now we'll be able to handle this pattern more easily. The next thing we'll do is compare each of our pattern pieces to the chart on the back of the envelope and check it off as you locate it. So that when we get into a situation like this, where we have two sleeves, we're going to use the short sleeve. So we'll remove the long sleeve and the cuff and put it in our pattern envelope. And of course, as you finish checking through all your pattern pieces, you'll return any others that you're not planning to use for this particular dress to the envelope. And since we're just going to be working with the skirt today, I'm going to remove all of the blouse pattern and get it out of our way. And the next thing we'll do is extend the grain line on these patterns. This arrow indicates the grain line marking. So we'll lay a, a yard stick along this arrow and extend the arrow the full length of the pattern. And of course you'll do this on both pieces of your pattern. You remember we took these measurements, waist, hips, and length. Then let's suppose that your waist measures 30 inches and your hips 40 inches and the front length 27, the left side 27, the right side also 27 and the back, let's make 27 and a half so we'll have a problem. And next we'll compare your measurements with the pattern measurements. And we'll take what we can from the back of your pattern from the section labeled body measurements. The pattern measurement for the waist is 28. For the hips, 37. And for the finished back length of the dress, 47. But that includes the waist as well as the skirt, so we won't be able to use that right now. So let's go back up here. 
the pattern measured 28, you measured 30, so we'll need to add two inches at the waistline. 37 is on the pattern, 40 is your measurement, which means we have to add three inches at the hip. Now let's see how we'll make that alteration. This has been made to represent your skirt front pattern. And as you know, it will be used to cut both halves of the front. The same thing is true with the back. And here is the waistline where we need to add two inches. We'll add half of that to the front and half to the back. But the logical place is to add it to our side seams. So let's just cut this in half again. In other words, whatever changes you need to make will be divided by four. And now let's apply this to our skirt pattern. Be sure you get the side seam. And then here where the waistline seam meets the cutting line, measure out one fourth of the amount of needed change and put a mark. Now, if you needed to make this waistline smaller instead of larger, you would do so by making several small tucks, like this. And I will go into that in more detail when I show you the shoulder alteration in our next lesson. Of course, you'll make the same alteration on the back of your pattern. But we'll go on down now and check the hip measurement. As you remember, we need to add three inches to the hip. An easy way to divide the needed change by four is to take your tape measure and double it back to the change needed. Then double it back a second time and crease it. Then when you unfold this, you will have your four equal sections. And this will be the amount we need to add to the hip line at the side seam of this skirt. Now, before we can add it to the hip line, we'll need to establish the hip line. And as you remember, we measured seven inches down from the waist. So measure seven inches down from the seam along the cutting line and mark this point seven inches. Then from that point, measure out the needed addition. And you can see we're running off the pattern here. So I'll cut a strip of paper and pin it the entire length of the pattern. Now here at the hip line, we'll measure out the amount that needs to be added and mark it on the paper. And then draw the curved line, try to repeat the line from the cutting edge of your pattern and connect those two marks. And come right on down the edge of your pattern and add the same amount, the full length of your pattern that you added at the hip line. And you'll do the same thing to the back of your pattern. If your skirts have not been hanging properly in front because of a large abdomen, correction can be simply made with the use of lined paper. Line your pattern up the edge of the paper and then shift the pattern until this corner lines up with a crosswise mark. And then pin the pattern in place. You can see that we have straightened the top edge of your pattern. Now this is the most alteration that you would ever make in this place. And from experience, you may find that you could use a smaller amount of alteration. Let's finish our pattern alterations by adjusting the skirt length. With your pattern flat, measure down the seam line from the waistline seam to the hem line. 
That was our center front seam, and it measured 29 and a half. And remember that that measurement was taken down to the hemline and not to the bottom of the pattern. And this will mean then that we need to shorten our pattern two and a half inches. We'll start measuring at this double line, which indicates to lengthen or shorten our pattern. Put your two and a half inches on that line, and then measure right up on the grain line, and put a mark. Fold your pattern along this double line. And you might want to check to be sure that the grain line is straight, and you can see that right through your pattern. Then bring that fold up to the mark on your grain line and flatten it down. And then fix that with pins. Now we need to even up this side edge. And you can readily see if you had to do more alterations than we have done here, it would be much better if you made several small folds across your pattern in order not to distort this outer edge any more than we did. Now if you have one section of your pattern length that needs to be altered more than the other, such as this one, here's how you would do it. Measure on that seam line the amount that you need to change it and mark the amount and then taper from about the middle of your pattern and connect those two lines, trying to, as nearly as possible, reproduce the original bottom line of your pattern. Now that you've seen how easily the skirt pattern was altered, I know you're eager to get on with the blouse. Next time, I'll take up the blouse alterations and complete your understanding of pattern alterations.